Ed, thank you. We be, eventually know we'd get some snow around here, right? Yes. Well, after 25 years in business, Chicago Trolley and Double Decker Company is hitting the brakes, announcing its sudden closing. The company gave no explanation to customers, only saying it will shut down after tomorrow. CBS 2's V-Win has more on the unexpected tourism closure. Ryan and Moogle, the news came as a shock to customers, some even reaching out to the company on social media, asking if they're really going out of business. We don't know what led to the closure, but the company has been a popular tourist attraction for more than two decades. The Chicago Trolley and Double Decker Company claims to be the largest tourism transportation company in the Midwest. But customers looking to buy a ticket for a downtown tour were in for a surprise today after seeing this notice on the company's website. It says in part, we regret to inform you the company will cease operation after December 31st. Customers holding tickets for tours after Tuesday may request a refund. Bruce Drummond is visiting from South Africa and found out about the closure this morning. We watch a lot of news because it's a bit colder than back home and uh, yeah it's sad because uh, it's nice that people can visit the city and see the the attractions. The parent of the trolley company Coach USA did not answer any questions when asked whether financial or personal reasons led to the closure. This morning drivers and tour guides showed up to work near 44th and Racine. The trolley company has been part of Chicago's history, providing transportation to big names and events over the years, from the Cubs World Series parade in 2016 to the Black Hawk Stanley Cup parades in 2010, 2013, and 2015. The list of clients also includes former President Barack Obama, Bill Clinton, and thousands of other visitors. This morning, the trolley pulled up on Michigan Avenue to begin the hop on hop off sightseeing tour, the first of 12 stops at the city's most popular destinations. An employee told me off camera managers notified them about the closure a week ago. The employee says everyone is sad. They have been sharing memories about better days with the company reporting from downtown V1 CBS 2 News.